In this world, nothing is eternal. Not only the living beings on Earth, but Earth itself will eventually come to an end. In addition, the vast solar system to which Earth belongs will eventually meet its end. So, when exactly will the solar system come to an end? Scientists, through recent research, have predicted that the end of the solar system will occur sooner than previously thought. At some point, the Sun will release a substantial amount of its mass into space and become a white dwarf. Over hundreds of billions of years, it will gradually shrink and evolve into a dark, rock-like black dwarf. However, other celestial bodies in the solar system will all disappear long before the Sun undergoes these transformations. For a long time, astronomers and physicists have been studying the fate of our solar system. In fact, research on the stability of the solar system dates back to the time of Newton. Newton predicted that the mutual interactions among celestial bodies would eventually render the entire solar system unstable. Studying interactions among celestial bodies is still challenging with current technology. The myriad celestial bodies interacting and moving within our solar system result in a vast number of possibilities, making the calculations complex. In other words, predicting the exact positions of planets at some future point is challenging. This problem is referred to as the n-body problem. Due to this complexity, predicting the fate of the solar system in the distant future is an even more challenging task. Nevertheless, scientists have been striving for a long time to predict the future of the solar system. Scientists predicted about 20 years ago that the solar system would gradually decay over approximately 100 quadrillion years. However, the calculations at that time were missing some crucial factors. The first and foremost factor is the Sun itself. In about 5 billion years, the Sun will transform into a red giant, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and Earth in succession. And as time progresses, the Sun will expel about half of its mass into space, eventually becoming a white dwarf. This loss of mass weakens the force holding Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, causing changes in their dynamics. The second is that as the solar system revolves around the center of the galaxy, it periodically comes close to other stars. In fact, in ancient times, Scholz's star came within the inner reaches of our solar system, and a star called Gliese 710 is currently approaching our solar system. If planets within the solar system are repeatedly influenced by external stars over a long period, the planets in the solar system will inevitably become unstable. In the past, these two conditions, namely, the weakening of the Sun's gravity and the influence of external stars, were overlooked in previous studies. This time, scientists conducted simulations by incorporating all these conditions and repeating the process. Surprisingly, all simulations consistently pointed to the same future outcome. After the Sun becomes a white dwarf, the orbits of the outer planets in the solar system gradually expanded. Such excessively enlarged orbits underwent a worsening cycle of increased gravitational influence from other stars. After about 30 billion years, the orbits of the solar system's outer planets became entangled due to the influence of extraterrestrial stars. Eventually, not long after, all planets except for the burned-out remnants departed their orbits and left the solar system. Mars, being closer to the Sun, experienced the least influence from external factors, allowing it to survive until the end. However, even Mars lingered near the Sun for about 50 billion years, and after approximately 100 billion years, it eventually departed from the solar system. In the end, after about 100 billion years since the Sun turned into a white dwarf, the solar system ceased to exist. 
this outcome is much earlier than the previously predicted 100 quadrillion years from about 20 years ago. From the perspective of the universe, it could be said that the end of the solar system is now imminent to the point where one might say, soon. Of course, these research findings do not immediately impact our daily lives. There are undoubtedly people who may think, what does this have to do with me, or what significance does this hold? However, many scientists, including Newton, have been curious about the future of our solar system for a long time. Through such research, scientists not only discover various rules within the solar system but also find ample fascination in peering into the future over billions of years. Anyway, in the distant future, our descendants who have left the solar system may be watching the final moments of the solar system from far away in the universe. Yeah. <laughs>